Do you love the Dollar Tree calendars? I sure do. And now I'm gonna make some gorgeous Christmas DIY home decor using Dollar Tree calendars. So if you don't have any, run to Dollar Tree and grab some. I love this 2024 farm life calendar. So we're gonna take the December page, which is so pretty with the mason jars and the poinsettias, I love it. And then I've got this cutting board that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. Oh, it's probably been a couple years ago now. And one side has some little etched flowers, which I will leave because it's beautiful. And the other side is blank, and that's the side that we're gonna work with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay the cutting board right on top of the picture so that I can center it and draw an outline around the shape so that I will be able to cut it out and get the exact you know, amount that will fit perfectly on the cutting board. So easy. I mean, honestly, this particular project is incredibly easy and I think it might be my favorite today. So it just goes to show you, it doesn't have to be complicated to be your favorite or to really love it. So now I'm just gonna cut out the shape and I'm just gonna go all the way around where I traced the little circle. My goal is to inspire you. Even if you don't make something with the exact supplies or the same way I did it, I just wanna inspire your creativity. So if you enjoy that and you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna trim some more off the top because what I'm actually going to do is fussy cut around it. Fussy cutting is just when you go as close as you can to the shapes that you have, and you see I've done that right there. I'm gonna take my Mod Podge. I happen to be using matte. I'm gonna cover the whole thing. You know, you can use glossy, you could use polyurethane, whatever you want. I just happen to have my Mod Podge handy, so I thought I would go ahead and use that this time. But honestly, whatever you want is fine. All right, now I've got all my Mod Podge on there. I'm gonna lay down my calendar page cutout and just kind of push it down. And then I'm gonna take a piece of saran wrap and my brayer. Now you can find my brayer in my Amazon store. I use this thing all the time. It's awesome to get out bubbles and make sure something is really flattened and adhered. So I'm just gonna rub that over and I use this saran wrap so that I don't get any of the Mod Podge on there and spread it around and rip the paper. Now I'm gonna take off the little twine hanger that came with it because we're gonna end up adding a white mop head strand to the top. It'll look cuter, I think, with this one. Now I'm gonna take a paint can. I'm just gonna trace that sort of like partial circle around there. We're turning this cutting board into an ornament. So first thing, I'm gonna take my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. I'm gonna paint that area that's the hanger with the white and then I'm gonna take a metallic silver paint and I'm gonna paint over it. And the reason I'm doing that is the silver will look much brighter with the white underneath it rather than just the wood. So that's just a little tip for you. I did do the silver off camera and now I'm gonna take a clear glaze, go outside and spray it. And look how cute it is. I've added the hanger and I love this one. It's gonna look so bright and cheery in my kitchen. For this Dollar Tree calendar DIY, I'm going to use the 2022 Farm Fresh calendar and I'm going to take the December page. I'm going to use an old jar that had pickles in it and some Mod Podge. I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and just clean off the jar. I had already taken off all the labels and just going to make sure there's nothing sticky left on it. Then I'm going to cut just the trees out. I'll save the part that says Christmas trees and farm fresh because I might use that again in a future DIY. So I'll just put that aside and then I'm going to cut out each of the trees. And once I cut them out, just the basic cutout, I will go around and fussy cut them where I will cut around the little points and, you know, just kind of make it as exact as possible. Now I'm gonna just see what it's gonna look like to put it on the inside. I don't wanna see the back of the calendar and since there's nothing behind it, I'm gonna paint with my Rust-Oleum Linen White chalk paint on the back and dry it off. Now I'm gonna take some Mod Podge, I'm just using the matte Mod Podge and I'm gonna do one tree at a time and just paint the Mod Podge on the inside then I'm gonna push the tree on the inside, kind of rub it down the best that I can. I'm gonna do the same for all three trees and I do go back in and cover the backside with the Mod Podge as well. So there it is. Now what I wanna do is I was gonna dry it off and then I thought, wait, while it's still wet, let's add some of this little iridescent snow that I have. I think it's from, I don't know, Dollar General maybe or, or Hobby Lobby. Anyway, I'm just gonna sprinkle it in while the Mod Podge is still wet and that way it's just going to fill in those gaps between the trees and that's just gonna add that cool kind of iridescent look to it. See what I mean? Now, of course, the Mod Podge is still wet, so it's still, you can't really see through it yet. 
Next thing I'm gonna do is I've got these fairy lights that I order on Amazon. They'll be in my Amazon store and they come like six in a pack. It's a very good deal and I love the way they look and they come with a battery in them. You cannot beat that. And this is gonna be such a pretty thing on a shelf with the light up. And then I found this cute little holly pick that I just had in my stash. I'm gonna pull it apart so I can add each piece individually. So it's got two little sets of three leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the top with some hot glue and then stagger the other set of three leaves, doing the same thing with the hot glue. And then I'll take the little berries that came in it and I'll put them right in the center, again, using hot glue to hold it in place. I will go around and kind of tack down the different leaves with some hot glue onto the jar because they were kind of sitting unevenly and I thought it just looked a little better to have them laying more flat. Such an easy project and it's so pretty. I love the light up type things. And so there you go, I've got the top on and that is it. Oh my gosh, I really love this one. Definitely has that snowy look. So here's a view with the lights on around it, but not the lights on the inside on. And then the next view is gonna be a little bit darker with the lights on. Now, of course, in a darker room, that's gonna look amazing. For this Dollar Tree calendar hack, I'm going to use the 2024 Everything Matters calendar and the December page that says Merry Christmas. I've got these two wood planks from the Dollar Tree. They were in the Crafter Square section. I love them. I'm going to take a sanding sponge and just go around the top edges on both pieces just so there's nothing too sharp or splintery. Now I'm going to cut just like a circle around the little picture with the Merry Christmas words. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of blend it into the, the wood. First thing though, I'm going to paint in sections the back to cover up those numbers. And I'll just keep drawing as I go. Otherwise, it curls up really fast. So now I'm going to take some masking tape and on the front, I'm just going to put it across the seam, turn it over, and then take hot glue and put it right in the back seam. This holds it in place so that the glue can dry. Then I'm going to take some popsicle sticks, craft sticks, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to put four of them on the back going horizontally just to secure it even more. I've got this really pretty jute or sisal rope, and I'm just going to cut a piece and I'm going to hot glue it to the top as a hanger. Then I'm going to remove the masking tape, cut off a couple little pieces, and just put some masking tape with hot glue on the end of the hanger that makes it very secure. So now I'm going to take my spritzer, which is just a little mister I got on Amazon, spray some water on there, and then take my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint and kind of whitewash the wood very lightly. Then I'm going to put some Mod Podge down, like I'll do the top first and then the bottom, and set down my calendar page. Now, once I have the bottom and the top secured, I will put a piece of saran wrap over it and use my brayer. Like I said before, this is just one of my favorite ways to secure something, you know, for mod podging I, it just or decoupaging. It's one of my favorite ways to do it because it really helps flatten out whatever the thing is you're putting on. I'm going to go back to my paint and I'm just going to add a little bit more paint. I'm trying to blend the picture with the white on the wood so you can't see like the, the cutting lines as much. I mean, you can see them a little, but not unless you look super close. And so this is blending it. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the paint on my brush and I'm going to dry brush across the top a little bit too. I've got these really pretty kind of gold glittery picks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to snip off the ends and make a swag on the top left corner and the bottom right corner and hot glue them there. And then I've got these gorgeous kind of burgundy colored berries and I'm going to cut off some little berry pieces and I'm going to hot glue them right in the center of each of those corners and just give it a little more interest. And I think this sign is just turning out beautiful. I can't get over how these calendar pages can make the most gorgeous home decor pieces. You have to let me know if you use them as well. And if you don't, why not? Because I mean, a calendar, $1.25 and you have 12 months plus the little pictures on the back. You get so much out of this. Talk about a great deal and they turn out so pretty. Dollar Tree calendar hack, I've got the 2024 Beautiful Life calendar and I'm going to take the December page and I've also got this like house shaped bank from the Dollar Tree. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the shape of the bank over that picture. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that backing. It just comes right out. And then I'm going to take my little scraper tool from Cricut. You could use a blade, whatever you want. And I'm just going to slowly scrape off the words. They're on the inside of this one. Now, some people like to use nail polish remover, but the scraper really does a nice job. 
Now I'm going to take that back shape of the house and put it right over the words holly jolly and outline that with my pencil. And then I'm just going to cut that out. That's what I want to put in there. We're making a bank where you could save up like money for Christmas. I thought that would be such a cute idea just to have this. So I'm going to put it on there. Of course, it always comes out a little big. So I'll go around and trim the ends until I get just the right size that I need. Then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to lay it down on that little house backing. And then I'm going to add my little cutout that I did where it says Holly Jolly. And I'll just do that until I get the whole thing covered. And then, of course, I will put some saran wrap over the top and use my brayer to continue adhering it and making sure that there are no bubbles or wrinkles. And this just works so well. I love doing this. Now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to cover it because if you're going to put money in there, it could hit that and it might rip the paper or scratch it. So I thought better to put an extra coat of Mod Podge on the top and seal it. Now that it's dried, I'm going to reassemble the backing to the house. And there's some little indentations and some little parts that stick up. So you just got to squeeze them in there till they all, you know, fall into place. It only takes a second to do. There we go. Now it looks a little plain to me, so I'm going to take this like glittery pick from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. It's a little big for this one. And I'm just going to hot glue one to one side. The other side has the opening for your coins, so I didn't want to put anything there. And then I've got these burgundy berries, and I'm just going to cut off some and add them to the top. And I'll just continue to add them until I feel like I have enough that it just looks nice to me. You could do whatever you want there. Get a pine cone, whatever you think would be pretty. I just really like these berries. And anywhere there's any, like, white styrofoam showing, I just take a little red marker, and I just kind of draw on that, and it helps you distract you from it. Unfortunately, it's a little lighter than the burgundy, but it works. It works just fine for this purpose. And I saw another little spot, so I thought I better add another berry. You can just keep doing it till you get everything kind of covered up there. I just love these berries. I think they're so beautiful. That is it for this one. It's so easy, and what a cute idea for putting some money. You know, give it to a kid who wants to save up to buy Christmas presents for somebody. I just think it's so fun and so cute. Let me know what you think. That's it for today. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So why don't you go ahead and click on it. And if you do, I'll see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.